The moment is here, you can stop your search. It's Comics by Perch. Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, I'm reading some of the comments on the uh, the Budweiser video, and there's there's a lot of videos I have. It's interesting. I understand this is why the fence sitter label applies to me because I didn't really take the piss out of um, quote unquote both sides and get riled up on things. I think the boycott against the Harry Potter game is as actually more ridiculous in a lot of ways than the Bud Light uh, boycott. But it's really not the boycott. And, and this is the part that I want to communicate here in this video and, and where I really want to try and, and make things abundantly clear. And maybe this is kind of dad perch style, I, whatever it might be. But, you know, it's, it's not people who boycott things or stop buying things or even really people who announce they're stopping buying things. Although people who announce that they're not buying things anymore often sounds like it, it's like, what's the old phrase? Like, this isn't an airport. You don't have to announce your departure. Just, just go. Um, the, the noise around it gets exhausting at times, particularly when, and check your hearts, if you announce it over and over and over again. Like, you, you can only leave Marvel once. You can't leave Marvel every week, every month for five years. You know, either you've left them or you haven't. If you, you can't keep leaving them. But, uh, but anyway, I think that this is um, one of those things in life, as I give advice, that you just got to kind of make peace with, or you will drive yourself insane. And it, it's basically this. You don't have to like what's popular. You don't have to dislike what isn't popular. At the end of the day, the dollar in your wallet that, that buys things is your dollar. Nobody else's. And you don't have to justify what you spend your money on to anyone but you. It's, it's yours. Alongside that, you have to understand that if you hate something, it doesn't mean that everyone hates it. It doesn't mean that it necessarily needs to go away. And that, quite frankly, a lot of boycotts are performative. A lot of cancel culture is performative. You know, the, the whole stuff about the Harry Potter game, like, oh, no, I hate J.K. Rowling. She's transphobic, so therefore you're a bad person. If you buy this game, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to write a... You know, the, the 5,154, you know, blog article about this game. I'm not going to, I'm not giving this game any oxygen. I'm just going to talk about it on Twitter every single day for two months, but I'm not going to give her any free publicity. Well, you know, I got news for you, dumbass. You have been for, for months. You've been giving her free publicity. But anyway, the point of all this is the best and most effective boycott you as an individual can make is one that does not feel very satisfying. And it's simply this. Don't buy it. Don't let it into your home. If it doesn't come into your home, it can't hurt you. And I don't mean that cynically. I don't mean that hand. You know, like this isn't a, this is not a fence sitting position. This is called an adult position. This is an adult responsibility position. If you don't like something, don't buy it. That is step number one. And that is by far the most effective thing you can do. It ranks far Far above things like go out on Twitter and, and hashtag not my Superman or whatever it happens to be. Like none of that stuff. They make you feel good. The likes may give you dopamine. All of it is is pretty useless. Uh, on this Bud Light controversy, Travis Tritt, uh, the country star, I, and I say star, I, I, and I mean no shade when I, when I say this, Travis Tritt was doing music like when I was in high school, I think. I'm pretty sure. And I, I mean, the surprise is mine that he's still alive. I mean, that's a, it sounds terrible, but like they, they announced Travis Tritt removed Bud Light from his tour bus out of protest over the, the Dylan Malone trans thing. And my first reaction was trans, Travis Tritt is still doing music. I, I honestly was, I, I didn't, I do not listen to a lot of country. So what do I know? But Beyond all that, I, I heard this opinion piece. It was pretty good, which, which was basically along the lines of, will Travis Tritt removing all the Bud Light from his tour bus matter? In the slightest, will it matter? And the answer is complicated because the reality is Travis Tritt didn't drink that much beer. Not enough to make a material impact in, Bud, you know, in, in, uh, in, in Bud's bottom line. You won't notice if he goes away. 
So the question mark becomes, will Travis Tritt not drinking the beer and announcing he's removing it to his boss cause other people not to drink it? And it's, it's hard to tell. The people who would probably be influenced by Travis Tritt not drinking beer probably already stopped drinking Bud Light due to this controversy. And, and uh, you know, they, they, so it, it, it's hard to say what this really does. And they, uh, they, I, I can't remember this, this the article claimed to have uh, gotten a quote from, from Travis Tritt or somebody on the, the, the tour, which basically said a very adult thing, which was, I don't think this will hurt the bottom line at all of the company, Budweiser. But I didn't feel good drinking it, so I'm not gonna. That's, that's the most, you know, think about that for a minute. That's the most mature statement that could be made here. It's, I didn't like this. It's not for me. Um, I could sit here and complain about it forever. Or I could just take myself out of the equation. And I did. And that, that, that I'm done. That is, that, that's a same, that's, that's sanity. And as you look at Marvel and DC and, and all this stuff and various comic books, creators are mad about whatever Tom King did today. Um, a lot of those things are bad and are stupid. Your, your first action should be take care of thyself. Stop, stop buying, stop putting the money out of your wallet into other things. And then from there, it doesn't really matter what happens after that. I mean, it, it does, but it doesn't. Clean up your own house first. Isn't that Jordan Peterson advice? Clean up your own room. Once your room is clean, you know, you can start to turn your attention to the greater world. You know, definitely it, it sucks. You know, you stop buying Spider-Man. It still doesn't mean you're not pissed off because of what they're doing to Spider-Man. You know, totally understandable. Totally. But your ability to control that is small. You are not, you don't work for the company. You're not the publisher. Unfortunately, with these mass market products, you can't not buy it enough to make a dent. Now, if you're the owner of, uh, I, I don't know, it doesn't work with comic books because of the direct market. But, you know, if you were the CEO of Walmart and you said, I'm not carrying Bud Light in my store anymore. I'm taking it out. I'm, I refuse to stock it. Then, yeah, you are in a position to make a big impact. The, you know, there are not many of those people around who have that kind of power. Most people don't. So you have a choice of making yourself insane by, you know, being angry about this, worrying about this, all the rest. Or you simply say, I'm taking myself out of this. If people ask me, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tell the truth. This is why I'm out. But I'm moving on to other things. You know, I'm finding a different beer to drink. I'm finding different comic books to read. I'm not telling anybody to shut up, by the way. You're welcome to, to continue to talk about it. But you have to be, you have to, here's, the, and this is the hard part that so many people struggle with. You have to be willing to accept the fact that even if you hate it, even if you think Bud Light is the worst pissed beer water in the entire world, which it is, I, I, you know, other people are going to drink it. Other people are going to like it. And the product may still be successful. There's a chance that, you know, the, the perfect solution to Spider-Man sales is exactly what they're doing right now. Actually, Zeb Wells and Nick Lowe are geniuses. And this is going to triple the sales. And people are going to come in, they're going to be so excited, and it's going to be great. There's a possibility that that's what happens. I mean, I, I don't think that's what's... I, I don't think... <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't bet on that. But there's a possibility that's, that's the outcome. And if that is what happens, don't be one of those people who denies that that's happening. Who goes, no, no, it's all fake somehow. It's a deep state conspiracy. There, nobody's actually about. Don't be one of those people. Those people are 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 loons. Be comfortable with the fact that you don't like it. You took it off your plate. You're done. Whatever happens after that, what's the expression? It's not your circus. Not your monkeys. Got to let it go. I think that it goes a long way because because what happens is, it, you know, it's not enough for people to say, I'm not buying Bud Light anymore. Fuck that company. They need everybody else to not like it too. And that is the path to crazy. 
There's, there's no satisfaction that comes with that. You can't control other people. You can tell me a reasoning. Maybe you can try and sway them with an argument. But honestly, is it worth your time? Is Bud Light worth your time? Is Marvel worth your time? I don't think it is. If, if these comic books are so trash and so terrible what they've done, stop buying them. Certainly tell people why you've stopped buying them. But, but if the majority of your energy is still going into trash Marvel, now you're doing something wrong with your life. You're wasting your life with something you hate. Anyway, um, boycotts are funny things, right? I mean, you know, they, they're at the end of the day, you have to be comfortable with the fact that your boycott may not be successful. People may still like this thing that you hate. And if they do, you gonna have to get comfortable with that fact because there's nothing you could do about it anyway. At other than you, you've stopped the pain for yourself. And that, my friends, is a decent place to be. Thanks for listening.